Hi, it's Travis White with the Persuasive Communication Tip of the Week. When I was in graduate school, I studied information science. That's the study of the behavior of information. And one of the basic laws of information science is that the more frequently a signal is repeated, the less information that it carries. And we can see that in the alphabet. The English alphabet has 26 letters. The most frequently used word or letter is the letter E. And that means it carries less information than any other letter in the alphabet. And you can see that in a crossword puzzle. If you get the letter E in the crossword puzzle, it gives you very little information about what the word actually is. On the other hand, if you get the letter Z or the letter X, those are less frequently used letters, therefore they carry more information. And you can tell that because it's much easier to guess the word if you have the letter X or the letter Z. In fact, let's uh, play a word game. I'm thinking of a city. I'm thinking of the name of a city. The city is the capital of a country. It has five letters. I'll give you the three vowels that are in the five letters. It goes blank, U, I, blank, O. What city is it? Now let's do the other way. Let's give you the consonants which are less frequently used. It's Q, blank, blank, T, blank. Well, I hope you've got it by now. It's the capital of Ecuador. It's Quito. But because it gave you a Q, that Q uh, helps you a great deal because it's an infrequently used uh, signal, an infrequently used letter. So what does this mean for you in business? It means that sometimes you need to change the words even though you don't change the message. So for instance, let's say I'm in charge of a safety campaign within my company and I might want to put up posters that say safety comes first. Well, I put up a lot of posters and we put that in emails and we put that in uh, various different communiques and newsletters and so forth and safety first. Well, after a while, that's repeated so frequently that people don't see it. It becomes part of the woodwork, it becomes part of the wallpaper, and it no longer has an impact. So the message contends, continues to be safety, we want people to be safe, but I may have to change the words. And say, instead of saying safety first, say, think about safety, or work safely, or some other combination of words around the same message. Volvo has been famous for this in, ter in terms of developing their brand. Their brand is built around safety. and Many people think they have the safest car in the world. But they change the wording of that message every so often to keep it fresh, although the core message remains the same. Volvo is a safe car. So think about your messaging. Don't always use the same words. After a while, repeating the words simply reduces the amount of information that's carried by those words. They become part of the wallpaper. They're no longer noticed by your employees. Change the words, but keep the message consistent. That's the persuasive communication tip of the week. See you again next week.